Hi everyone. This video we're going to talk about an, to solve an issue in some of our household work network systems. So a lot of our houses now have a network system. These are usually non-POE networks because it's like just a common router right here. A common router only provides some data transmissions and exchanges. So what is a non-POE? Non-POE means it doesn't have the POE features. A POE feature allows the power and data to transmit through the Ethernet. And nowadays, a lot of devices have POE features within. So say like this wireless access point. This can expand our network, and if we connect it to our network, you know, if your house is too big, sometimes the signal's too low, then we can use this and kind of enhance our signal. And if we want to connect to th this, there's one way, you know, just to use like a power adapter or connect it to our alternating current, but it's kind of too much. And what if we want to place it somewhere where there's not a power outlet nearby? If we use PoE, then we don't have to worry about the extra power source. We can use one Ethernet cable to transmit the power and data to this device. So it would be really, really simple and convenient and also safe because we don't have to mess around with the alternating currents. The alternating currents are sometimes a little bit dangerous for if you don't have that much experience managing it. So now we're going to talk about how we can, you know, add some PoE devices to our network system. The most, the most like direct way is just like add a PoE switch, which has the PoE features inside, and also it works as a regular switch exchanging data. But that is more of a commercial way because PoE switches are not that common households. So another way we can do it is by using a PoE injector. So a PoE injector just can receive the data from the router and then on this PoE port it will you know, transmit power and data outside and then it works on the PoE device. But the downside on the PoE injector is it only has one PoE output port. So if we want like more IP PoE devices attached to our network system we'd have another solution. In this case, we have this. This is our PoE switch. This is our four port PoE power switch. This PoE power switch, it has a lot of features. You can see there are four ports right here, which means at most attach four PoE devices at it. And then this port right here is not for you know, outputting, it's for receiving. So the powered, powered switch works really like a power device and power supply equipment. From its telling, we can know that it can when it connects to our main network, it receives the data. When it connects to our PoE injector, it receives the power. Then it will combine them and put out PoE signals to other devices. So the connection is really simple. Before, So we're going to have to make sure that all the signals, you know, the it's combined as power and data before it reaches this PoE power switch. So we're going to connect the router to the injector and then the injector to our PoE power switch. Another good thing about a power switch is it has a really wide bandwidth so it can handle a lot of devices. Multi, it's like multi, multitasking. And also the output power with we use a 30 watt like this one, a 30 watts PoE injector. It will have up to like 20 watts total of power budget, and then it can power up mostly a lot of uh, small devices like an access point or a small security cam. And also, we can, uh, of course, connect it to non PoE devices like our laptops, computers, anything else. So, it, the PoE is just like a good choice for us. And now I'm going to show you guys how to connect it. First, we can see the router here is already connected to our main network. And I'm going to connect the router to our injector. So you can see right now our injector, the, P the LN, the power is on, and we're going to connect our injector to our PoE powered switch. So when I insert the PoE's port, this side I'm going to insert it to our power switch. Now you can see that PoE is on. It means now PoE is outputting constantly. 
at the moment. You can see this is a long Ethernet cable, so it means like these two devices don't need to be close to each other. And since this is a power device as well, we can set this up wherever we want. And it's a small box, so it can fit in a lot of small places. And we don't need to worry about the power source because it's gaining power from the injector through the Ethernet cable. It's like, this is like 20 meters long, so really convenient. And then we connect a powered switch to our wireless access point. And you can see right now the light, the indicators are on, meaning this power, this wireless access point is also active and we can search for a signal. Alright, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions about this setup, you can leave them in the section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.